Uh, so as, uh, I guess the goal of missions is to see people receive new life in Jesus, to hear the gospel, to accept it, and to have that transformed life. Uh, so what better way to, to celebrate uh, missions, on mission, than to, uh, to celebrate two baptisms of uh, people within our own church who have experienced that new life as well. So baptism uh, is an external sign of an internal reality uh, of the work that God did uh, uh, through Jesus on the cross to save us, to give us new life. Uh, so today we have Caleb and Andrew who uh, have experienced that and then want to publicly proclaim that to you all as their church and family and friends. Uh, so I'm going to invite Caleb down to share why he is getting baptized. So I was raised by parents who love the Lord. I knew the truth from the very beginning. But just because I'd had knowledge doesn't mean I had a true saving faith with him because I didn't. It wasn't until much later in life, the fall of 2009, um, I was going to a service at Columbia Presbyterian Church with my family, and the sermon was done by Pastor Harris, and it was on the parable of the sower. And when he explained the seed that was sown and then choked out by the thorns of the world, I just felt an incredible conviction because that was my life. I cared for the world, the material, the things, the stuff, the success. And I had no fruit in my life to show that I had a true saving faith in him. So I went home that day and gave my life to the Lord where Jesus truly became Lord of my life. And what a night and day difference it was. If I could summarize the last 13 years of walking with him in one word, it would be peace. Jesus gives incredible peace. Not to say it's been easy. It's been a hard, narrow road, and he's disciplined me in many ways. But I'm so thankful for God disciplines the ones he loves, Hebrews 12. And I think of 2 Corinthians 4, though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal way to glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. And that's been a huge shift of walking with the Lord, is fixing our eyes on him and his kingdom, expanding his kingdom. Not ours, not the material, not the world, not the transient shadows. Um, so I'm just so thankful for his grace and mercy on that day. And this is certainly not a story about me. This is a story about how the Lord has worked in me and through me for his glory. Um, so I'm just so thankful, so thankful for his grace on that day. And I grew up going to a Presbyterian church where they practice infant baptisms. And for me, baptism is a public profession of faith before the church. It represents Jesus' death and resurrection and that in us. And I'm so grateful to be part of a church where that's done. And so here I am. That's so good. That's so good. Um, so, Caleb, yes. uh, are you trusting in Jesus' life, death, and resurrection for your salvation alone? Yes. Well, it's my privilege then to baptize you in the name of the. Oh, baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 